In this presentation, we're going to talk about comparing and combining documents in Word. These features are useful if you are collaborating with other people. For example, if you have a document that you've distributed to a number of people and everyone is making changes to it. If you want to reconcile those changes into one document, this is a way to do so. So I have my Marathons document open here. I'm going to select the Review tab of the ribbon and from the Compare group, I'm going to select the Compare dropdown and here are two options, compare or combine. First, I'm going to compare. So I'm going to select compare. In the original document, I'm going to select marathons. And I have a second document, marathons 2. I need to browse to find it. Here is marathons 2. I'm going to click it to select it and then click open. And now you'll see here at the bottom, there are a number of options. I can change under comparison settings what I am comparing. So I can, for example, only compare the comments, only compare changes made to footers and endnotes. These are all selected by default. And then I am also going to select how I want to show the changes. I can show them in the original document and the revised document or create a whole new document. So I'm going to create a new document that's going to highlight the changes that were made. I can click OK now. And now Word is going to show me here in a new document called the compared document, going to show me the changes that were made between the two. And then on the right, it's showing the original document and then the revised document, which was Marathons 2. And on the left, the revisions pane is also open, highlighting the changes that were made. This is the same process you would do to combine your documents. You would select combine here instead of compare. Because I selected compared and my changes are showing, I want to combine the changes, I can just, I'm going to right click and select and accept or reject the changes. Now I have the combined changes here, reconciled between the two documents in this new document. And then if I click file and save as, I can save my document as a new document with a new file name. So that is a lot easier than trying to manually go through and see what has changed in the documents. Word can do it for you automatically and then can go on to combine all of the changes into one final document. Coming up next, you'll test your knowledge of comparing and combining documents by taking a quiz.